Rockies are starting to kick off up here at Grandfather Mountain. Um, you can see behind me, that's Linville Peak. And the best place to see the fall colors is on top of Linville Peak. Um, being right on top of the mountains up here in western North Carolina, you're not going to see as many colors right there on top of the mountain because a lot of the forests are spruce and fir forests, which are evergreens. When you're standing at a higher elevation, that's when you can see all the different deciduous trees that are down at lower elevations. The deciduous trees are the ones that are losing their leaves, and they're the ones that change colors before they do lose their leaves. These two plants are good examples to show the difference between deciduous and evergreen. Um, this rhododendron that's green right now, most of its leaves are green. This is considered an evergreen. And yes, you will notice that some of the leaves are changing, but the difference between an evergreen and a deciduous is that not all the leaves are gonna change and fall off at once in an evergreen. So rhododendrons are evergreen. And then this purple one over here, this is a perfect example of a, something where we can explain the science behind the fall colors. When you see leaves that are changing red or almost purple, uh, like the leaves behind me, that is from a chemical called anthocyanin that is actually created as the chlorophyll is pulled out of the leaves. The plants produce the anthocyanin and it acts as almost like a sunscreen to protect the leaves. When you see the yellows or the oranges, those chemicals are already present in the leaves. So as the chlorophyll is pulled out, it's just revealing the keratin or the xanthophyll. The xanthophyll um, shows as more of a yellow and the keratin shows as more of a yellowish or um, orangish. And that's some basics behind the science of the fall colors. And like I said last time, all we needed was some sunny, cool days and some nice, cool, crisp nights, and we've had those, and that's all we've got in the forecast coming up. So it's going to be a really good fall color year this year. So 